We're starting off this episode with Will, who was our deluded driver from a few months back. Well, I'm going to go so far to say our ex-deluded driver, because the transformation is absolutely amazing. Hats off to you, Will. This was a difficult situation. Your speed on the approach was well good enough, so you could accommodate what was going on. It's this Honda driver to the right that caused the issues. They shouldn't have followed the other vehicle. But again, you're just budging it up and trying to make the situation better. Great job, mate. Keep it up. You have to be very careful sometimes when you let people across the road in front of you. But there are certain scenarios where you probably need to, and this is one of them. Watch the guy on the mobility scooter on the right hand side of the road. Although he's not committing to cross, he starts to move forward. But my camera has already sussed it that there's no one around, and gives him a chance to cross the road while it's clear. I will add, it's not the best place to cross either right in front of a junction. Problem is well and truly solved though. Well done. This was a nice spot from John. And it's not John this time, but the paramedic that stood on the left hand side of the carriageway. I can't see anyone being injured with this scenario, but the paramedic has taken it upon themselves to warn and help the traffic about the broken down lorry. This reduces risk massively on such a fast moving road. And it's obvious they've not been called out to fix the tyre. They've just stumbled upon this and thought, you know what, I'm going to help. This is John's clip and we're going to play Read the Signs. So first of all, there could be horses and the road narrows. Now there could be pedestrians on the road for the next mile. Road users don't pay enough attention to the road signs. They're there to help us anticipate and look into the future, if you like, by others' previous experiences. But people don't use them well enough. What's happening up ahead? Well, the road bends and it says slow on the road. And there you go. If you are honest to yourself, how much do you look at the road signs and pay attention to where they are and what they're warning of? With this clip, I'd just like you to think if our camera was one of these people who had the mindset of, this is my lane, I've got priority. Would barging past the lorry have put all these people in danger? Absolutely. There are too many road users who don't appreciate the extra problems lorry drivers can have speeding up, slowing down or manoeuvring. The car that we're watching in this clip is the one up ahead with its brake lights on. It moves out to lane two. Is it unsure of where it's going? Because it goes to overtake and then goes absolutely nowhere. But this time it's the lorry driver doing the nice driving. This is superb. Appreciate the problems and fix it. I love that clip. This clip is another favourite from this episode. Let me know in the comments which was your favourite. The reason why I like this one so much because it shows genuine care. You, you guys all right? Yeah, all good. Yeah, just yeah. you've got a phone and everything. Yeah, it's all sorted. All right. Looks nasty. Did it just go? Yeah, it just went. Yeah? Bloody hell, good luck. Good 
This simple clip shows why it's important to always be able to stop within the distance you see as clear, even when you've got a green light. And doing just that certainly saved the collision in this situation. Lovely. And brilliant next bit that you did. Save the clip and send it to Ashley. This last piece of the clip might also be a good positive point. If you are shaken, park in and compose yourself. A little game I play sometimes to see how good my anticipation is, is if I can suss out the situation and be able to move safely before another car needs to. Just like John did. Increasing his speed slightly so he wasn't three abreast for a long time was also a good shout. This clip shows two bits of nice driving, and they both involve backing off the speed. The first one is to sort this poor overtake out. Then 80 seconds further up the road, our camera does exactly the same thing, but this time they help the bus out. This is one of John's clips, and what I'd like to do is just point out the road sweeper to the right hand side and how it's tailgating the white Renault. This road is an average speed check area, and it's towards South Wales. But what I'd like you to do is actually watch to see how many times the road sweeper has to dab the brakes. It's trying to bully the white Renault out of the way. And although for me the white Renault should just move out of the way and let the lorry driver get on with the day, the lorry driver is actually using a lot more fuel driving in this manner. They're showing little anticipation and they're being very reactive. It's also intimidating and very dangerous. But it makes a mockery of the reason for this average speed check. And this is something that I've honestly never seen anywhere else. When cars and other vehicles are driven slower, they produce less emissions. And simply, this average speed check is to reduce the emissions on this section of road. I think this is absolutely top draw. So here's just a little thought to finish with. The next time that you've got to do a motorway journey and you're not pressed for time, rather than doing 70 all the way throughout, try doing 60 because you'll not just arrive at your destination a little more chilled, but you're also doing your little bit to help the environment. Keep safe everyone, I'll see you soon.